Morning. I was told I had a clicker. Oh, good. Um, yeah, so the last time I guess I got to talk to all of you, I was uh, sporting um, orange business cards instead of blue. And uh, in fact, I didn't even bring any business cards today. I'm kind of fresh at the, uh, fresh at the Facebook. But um, some exciting things to talk about, and I think especially if you're, you're developing uh, location-based projects or, um, or an engineer looking to, to join up with a team that's doing really, really cool stuff. Um, the world of check-in has kind of evolved a lot over the last you know, two, three, four years. And you might remember um, Facebook, about a year and a half ago, in August of 2010, launched their own check-in pro product. And they did that kind of with the help of a handful of third-party developers. And, um, and then kind of bootstrapping their own you know, places database to get that, that off the ground. Um, and a lot happened over the year that followed. And we saw, I think, you know, this idea of checking in really take off and people sharing um, the places that they're going to. Uh, but I think everybody in this space realized that the check-in itself was only one way of interacting or looking at the places that are around us. And so a, a year into it, Facebook actually you know, made the step to say, um, you know what, check-in, now that, now that we've gone down this path, doesn't exactly um, solve all the problems that we wanted to solve. And furthermore, uh, due to the nature of um, how, we've, how we've built this, it, uh, it makes privacy more complicated than it needs to be. And so at the time, um, Facebook, we rolled out some privacy changes uh, to make it easier to you know, control what groups of people that you were, you were sharing certain types of content with. And as part of that, location got rolled into uh, the new Facebook Composer. So instead of just checking in, uh, location became a tag that you could add to any type of content that existed on the system, be that a status update, a photograph, a video, an event, uh, pretty much anything that could be shared via the Composer could have um, location added to it. And so uh, effectively, check-in as, as an API got, got deprecated on our platform, and we moved more to this idea of location tagging for any sort of post. Uh, now that existed, unfortunately, as a first-party um, uh, feature only, and it wasn't until last month that we rolled this out to uh, engineers or to third parties. And uh, I think that there's a little bit of a perception that because check-in was deprecated that Facebook has kind of stepped out of the location game. Uh, but the reality is, is that uh, the renewed sense of actually tagging location to all kinds of updates uh, have, uh, has only increased that usage. And so um, some of the things that we actually rolled out this last month uh, allows any third-party developer to you know, add location uh, to a post in a way that that can uh, go onto our our open graph and show up on timeline map. Uh, we can do aggregations around places and locations. Uh, we've made it easier for um, third-party developers to actually uh, find location or find content tagged with place, uh, not just where the a user is with their mobile phone right now, but um, by dropping any lat long and searching for content or posts that have been tagged around there. Uh, again, you can read posts from um, uh, a location search that's being performed. And uh, again, I think one of my favorite things is just privacy. If you're like at Koala, we had a very simple private model, you, a privacy model. It was either public or, um, or it wasn't. You, you, your account had one binary setting. And if you're a small developer, uh, that's a really complicated thing to deal with. And now uh, with our privacy settings being baked in at a per object or per app level, and we make it easier for third party developers to come and say, hey, uh, you can share this content, uh, but you can also control what audiences um, view that uh, and, and pass that on to the users. So there's a lot of things that we're baking in and passing along to developers that make it much easier uh, to tackle some of these uh, complicated challenges. Um, and again, I think some of the aggregations that we're starting to see happen around timeline map, whether that's photographs on a map or um, uh, I, again, reviews or recommendations around locations are, are just some of the things that we're going to start to see. Data density has always been a challenge, uh, especially in the location space where getting meaningful activity around um, uh, geography uh, is, is a struggle for, for young developers. And I think that uh, what we're seeing now is some really important milestones that are starting to be hit across our industry. Uh, and at Facebook now, we have 200 million users 
who are tagging location on a monthly basis. And that's a, a really, really meaningfully dense number now. Uh, and we're only going to see that continue to grow in a way that you can like drop a pin and find photos, find tips, find um, uh, check-ins, video, events that are happening in and around that place um, that give you meaningful you know, mashups that you can now do if you're an engineer. Um, we're also kind of looking at location from a, a past, present, future uh, sort of tense. So when you look at, say, photos on our platform, uh, a lot of that's present tense, so photos that are, say, being uploaded from a mobile device, uh, but a lot of it's past tense as well, photos that people are adding from their, their albums to their timeline map, uh, again, of vacations that were taken um, prior to kind of this world that we live in. And so we're seeing a, a, a bulk of content that was created uh, before this location-based era now being tagged with, with place. Uh, present, of course, is still like, you know, real-time photos, check-in, status updates, uh, tagged with location. Uh, and even looking forward, we recently uh, launched a, a new update to our uh, events platform uh, that makes it easier to, to add location to events. And so now we're saying uh, not just like this is where I'm checking him now, but this is where I plan on being uh, in the future. And I think this starts to speak to um, you know, greater opportunity of looking again at the past, present, and future tense uh, of location. Again, now we're seeing two billion um, pieces of content that are tagged with location on a monthly basis on Facebook platform. Of course, some of the really cool stuff that, you know, with access to that data through the platform, you can start doing crazy visualizations. Like this is um, uh, year-to-date travels, um, uh, where somebody checked into one place and then traveled somewhere else and either created content or checked in there. And this starts to get at the, the really interesting data that you can start pulling out. Again, these are things that we, uh, I was really passionate about uh, at Gowalla of trying to map like what happens when somebody leaves um, San Francisco and flies to Paris and spends a week there and comes back. And there's a density uh, of data being able to like bookend that. And uh, we're giving developers the tools to really start diving in and doing this. Uh, this is uh, check-ins year-to-day by political affiliation. Uh, again, that's one of the crazy things about Facebook is that um, not only do we have this like, great location platform, but we have um, uh, people who are sharing other bits and pieces of information about themselves that allow you to do really interesting visualizations and um, uh, allow you to slice up the data in ways that, that make more meaning. Of course, I'm looking now, like, I want to know, like, uh, friends who like certain types of food, what, you know, where are they traveling, what restaurants are they going to when they're, they're, in, um, they're in Portland or they're in Milan. Uh, again, we're, we're starting to reach a density where those sorts of things uh, aren't just um, a reality in places like San Francisco or New York City, um, but they're also a reality in other parts of the world. Uh, a couple things I want to talk about in terms of uh, platform updates that are coming really soon on the horizon. One of the big things, I think, when you've crowdsourced a, uh, a place database as large as ours is uh, whipping that into shape and cleaning it up in a way where we remove the duplicates and, uh, and kind of the other fuzzy data that exists in there to make it easier uh, for developers to get at what they want to get at uh, is uh, a really, really high priority for us. And on a weekly basis, uh, we're making great strides to reduce the number of uh, duplicates and, um, and, again, other fuzzy data that's in the system. So this is something you're going to see uh, improve a lot over the days to come. Open graph place objects are another thing that we're working with uh, a handful of developers on right now. Uh, if that's something you'd like more information about, please come talk to us, because um, uh, I think there's a really interesting opportunity here for those of you who have your own um, place databases uh, to allow content that's shared at those places to show up on Timeline Mapper, to show up as open graph, open graph actions. And that's something that we're actively um, working on right now. Uh, again, it's not available to the public yet, but if you'd like more information, come talk to us. Uh, a place editing API is something that's been long in the works and, again, speaks to um, our desire to see that database continue to improve uh, and get better over time with uh, both density and uh, precision. Uh, and then finally, uh, geocoding is something that we've wanted to do internally for a while, and it's something we've spun up, and now we're going to be also turning around our geocoding service and making it available uh, to third-party developers as well. And I hope this um, kind of indicates 
you know, a renewed direction for, for Facebook to uh, do some really exciting things with location moving forward. Um, not only are we excited about developers building on our platform, but we're looking for really enthusiastic engineers who are passionate about location uh, to come build with us. So if you'd like, please come by, stop by our booth. We have probably the most modest booth here, but the biggest hearts, and uh, I think one of the most passionate um, uh, attitudes towards location at this point. So uh, thanks for letting me riff a little bit, and it's exciting to see you all here. Thanks.